Hello and welcome to Dexplorian. In this channel, I make and help you learn design illustrations in Photoshop, discuss tips and tricks, and various tools in Photoshop that will make you a better graphic designer. As you have seen in the thumbnail, I will be making this design illustration and also guide you through the whole step by step process. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. We'll start off by opening our Photoshop and creating a new document by clicking on create new. I have already shown you how to set the preset for your canvas sizes. I have already made that. So I will not going to repeat this one. This time we will be making an A2 size poster. Everything is set. The background to transparent and width and centimeter height in centimeters and orientation is also set color profile to working RGB let's create and now we'll be bringing our image of the main subject in it the image for your reference I have already given the link in the description I have downloaded it from the pixel if you want to use the same image you can download it from there and now we have resized it press ok and this time we'll be using for the selection purpose the lasso tool and in the lasso tool we will be using magnetic lasso tool just click and hold and move your cursor along the border of the subject it will stick to your subject magnetically and make the path for the hair purpose we will be doing it in the select and mask we will be refining the edges so don't bother to make it a perfect selection for other solid parts you can go on If your selection goes the wrong way just hit backspace to return to the point you want and then once again continue if the selection is going in some places it is not going as per your requirement it is going it is including some extras so don't worry we will be fixing that later on click on the mask icon to mask the layer and now if you can see there are some spaces remaining where the background is visible so that one we will be using our brush tool select the brush you can either select a soft round brush or a hard round brush for this purpose i prefer hard round brush so i'll go with this one then flow to 100 percent opacity 100 percent smoothing you keep 100 percent and selecting the foreground color is black just go on painting on the areas you want to hide Time and again adjust the brush size to work in more critical areas. I think the most of the body parts other than the hair it's okay another cool trick you can do is at times when you are not sure whether you have uh, selected the whole border so you can do is go to the properties panel if you don't find it here you go to the window then here you will find properties you just check it and this box will appear and you can definitely place it wherever you want you can make it a floating one or you can keep it in your panel itself so what you can do is just reduce the density when you reduce the density you will see that the background appears and now you can select means reveal or hide from your mask I think it is done make it once again hundred percent like that okay now for the hair region what we will do is we once again select the selection tool and go to select and mask workspace then if you remember the refine edge brush 
we'll take the refine edge brush and resize the brush as per our need and then just paint on the edge of the hair I think it is done now press ok and here is our mask if you want to check because the background was white and till now it is not very clear whether the mask is ok you just add an adjustment layer a dark one and bring it below the subject layer yeah there are some discrepancies over here now we can see like for here so you once again we will be refining it a little bit okay we, uh, we have to again go back to our select and mask and here we will be selecting the overlay option from here so that it is clearly visible where we have to paint with our brush okay I think we can go with this one press ok and now we can change the solid adjustment layer by double clicking on this one the color and select whatever we need for our canvas background I will go with this color let's just rename the layer as subject and this is it can stay over there okay now that our mask is ready we'll move on to the next part now for the time being let's just uh, Turn on the turn off the visibility of our subject layer and work with some text layers. So let's start with adding some text. Now we'll be changing the color. Let's just duplicate the text layer. If you remember how to duplicate, hold the Alt button on your keyboard and just drag. Now let's arrange our letters. Let's just group the layer. Click on the topmost layer and the downmost layer. Holding the shift key, it will select all the layers. Then press command G on your keyboard. And now let's just rename it as Actually, this step is totally optional. If you are capable of remembering all the layers by yourself, then you don't have to do the renaming part. I do is just for organization purpose. Doing the grouping, what you can do is you can just resize it all together as per your need. Position it and then press OK. Now we turn on the visibility of our subject layer and bring the subject layer at the top. Now we'll be resizing the subject layer by holding the shift key so that the aspect ratio remains the same. For doing that we can select the subject layer and change the blending mode to difference. What it does is both the layers are now visible and we can position or resize as power and need with more accuracy. When it is ok press the blending mode option to normal. Now what we'll do is clip our subject layer to the text layer. Then we duplicate our subject layer. 
and selecting both the subject layers the clipped one and the normal one we will link them together so that when we move one of our subject layer the second one also move with it now we will change the subject layer the blending mode to multiply and now what we'll do is mask the uppermost subject layer according to our need so that it appears in a particular way uh, with the text layer so what we'll do is now open the group of the text layer and select I mean select the path of all the texts what we have added earlier so for doing that press command and click on the text icon over here and then hold the shift pressing the command itself this is command shift and go on adding all the text layers like that and you will find that it is been selected now go to the subject layer select the layer mask then come to our brush tool and foreground color is black we go on painting now if you can see the below layer which was been multiplied with the uh, text layer it has been revealed in the areas where the text is there now again what we'll do is keeping all the selections active we will press command shift and i to inverse the selection now what will happen is when we apply the brush with foreground color as black this thing will disappear it will not affect the inside of the text layer but now it will be affecting the outside of the text layer press command d to deselect now we want to do is the l letter it has just not been prominent so what we'll do is make the l letter normal for that what we have to do is select the l letter then press command j to duplicate the layer and bring the layer above all the layers or the top like that and also we'll do that for the X now what we'll do is add a mask layer mask to the letter L and selecting the part of the letter O now we will hide this part same way we'll be doing with the another text layer Okay, another thing I want is uh, my subject layer to be a little bit bright so what I will do is add a, add a levels adjustment layer and clip it to our this subject layer and now we will adjust it just a little bit of brightness okay now what we'll do is because this is our main subject of our canvas with the letters and the subject itself so we will group all this together 
by selecting the topmost layer and holding the shift key and go to the lowermost layer that is the text layer and now pressing command G now we'll move to the next part next is we add some shapes to our illustration let's go to rectangle tool to make it square hold the shift key and now it will maintain the aspect ratio We'll do similar kind of a thing with another upper shape layer and this time it will be a triangle. Same, hold the shift key, maintain the aspect ratio. Let's add a drop shadow to this subject layer by right clicking and selecting the blending mode option. Now only two things are remaining in our illustrations. Uh, let's add some designs over here. And the last part to add a text layer. With this, we have completed today's illustration. Thanks for staying with me throughout the process. If you like the video and the illustration, please like and share with your friends. And if you like watching this type of videos, please subscribe to Explorian. We can also connect on Pinterest and Instagram. Links are in the description. I will be back with a new video, till then take care and keep creating, bye.